Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to look at making unique objects. And we're going to do this by passing parameters to our constructor. So it says the constructor we have is great, but what if we don't always want to create the same object? To solve this, we can add parameters to our constructor. We do this like the following example. So here we have our car function that takes in wheels, seats, and engines. And in the code, it creates a property wheels and assigns to it the value that it, that is passed in here to wheels. And same thing with seats, it creates a property seats and will give it the value of whatever's passed into seats and the same with engines. So now we can pass in arguments when we call our constructor. And here they, so they make the new instance my car, and they specifically are going to put six, three, and one, which will be the values put into wheel seats and engines. So this code will create an object that uses the arguments we passed in and looks like, and that's what it will look like. So we create a wheels property key with a value of six. We did seats with three and then engines with one. So now give it a try yourself. Alter the car constructor to use parameters to assign values to the wheels, seats, and engines property. Then call your new constructor with three number arguments and assign it to my car to see it in action. So all we really have to do here is we're going to pass in three parameters. We want to do wheels, seats, engines. This wheels, we want it to take in the parameter of wheels. So down here when we make our instant of my car equals new car. And we're going to be able to pass in three parameters. So down here, when we call or when we create this instance of a, a new car object, it's going to have specifically, let's finish doing this. It's going to take that there, seats, and then engines. So here, we create a new car. We save it into my car and we specifically pass in three, six, and seven, which will in turn create a wheels property and assign to it whatever is wheels. So it will put three in there. Seats will have six and engines will have seven. And that's pretty much what this is asking. Calling new car 312 should produce an object with a wheels property of three, seats property of one, and engines property of two. Same thing with this. When this is passed in, we should have four, four, and two. So let's test this. Since we're doing three, six, and seven, our result should have wheels, would have the value of three seats would have the value of six engines would have the value of seven and we run this and as we can see here wheels three seats six engines seven 